bro, I'm a big ass kid, bro. You give me something and give me free range. I'm a I'm a draw on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was that kid that used to draw all over his textbooks, draw all over my desk. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm a big ass kid, bro. I remember I went to my my <laughs> boss house. I used to work at Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I was at my boss house and like she yeah, had this KFC. table. <laughs> yeah, bro. bro. I literally went from KFC to Def Jam, bro. Like, yeah, that's in a week. Lit, yeah, bro. You yeah got it, a story, bro. My it boy. was hilarious, bro. Cause I remember when I I left. You know, um, I had to, that was the only job I had, so I had to use them as references. Mm -hmm. And I told them all, like, y'all need to use y'all for a reference. And they was like, oh yeah, where you gonna get a job at? And when I tell them, they was like, yo, how the, how the fuck you get that? <laughs> <laughs> you Mind you, it was only an internship though, but it turned into a job six months later. This is in at NY? Is it in New York? Yeah, it was in New York. Yeah. yeah. I was living uh I lived down there for I was in Flatbush for about five years until, you know, I met my my future wife at the time. Mm -hmm. Um and uh then I moved in with her up in Harlem. So I lived there for about three and a half, four years. So I was in I was at Def Jam for five years though. How old are you around this time? Uh I was down there from the age of twenty-two through what twenty-two through I had just turned twenty-two. Mm -hmm. So I left at I left in uh, a few months before I turned thirty. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So okay. yeah. So LA is new to you. I moved to I moved to LA when I was twenty nine and I turned thirty like Two months later. So you're a decade in, but still, it's like it's oh, yeah, it yeah, that yeah. culture. The culture is. What yeah. was it? Shocking coming here? Was it because like yeah, bro? It was honestly like the first two months out here. I was like, I ain't fucking with this, bro. I'm about to go back. Like, yeah. What was so bad about it, bro? It's what just was, like the you know the people was different, and I didn't. And like I was looking for like New York shit in L. A. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. and I knew people out here. <laughs> where, where, bodega, where the bodegas at? Yeah, like just yeah, like that, and just. Like people were slaking on me and shit, mm. and I ain't had no car, bro. Like it was, it was wild when I first moved here, bro. And I was just like, bro, I was riding a bike everywhere. And then how'd you move around? Yeah. Then my mom let me like they had like three cars, so she like she was living out here. Well, she was living in like uh, Rialto, San Bernardino, mm -hmm. and um, I had one of those cars. That kind of changed the game. Then I got a job working at Warner, and um, then I started meeting people and all of that. And then once I started getting on the scene, like. That changed everything up. So what was your your mission going into uh, Def Jam? Like, what did you want to do? Was it always like, because I mean, you're an artist, right? Are you still doing art at this time, I'm assuming? Mm, yeah, because I, I was I was in college, so I was an art major, so I had no choice. So going into Def Jam, uh, my school major, you have to take, you have to have four internships under your belt in order to graduate. Four mm -hmm. internships, meaning six months times four. It ain't got to be six months. So they call them fill periods. So they only had to be a month. So they only had to be four one month internships. I'm getting educated on this. I'm sure a lot of people okay. too. I didn't know that. Yeah. So like, um, yeah, it was, it was four. That's the one thing about that school. I was like, that's that's dope because you you get that experience and you 18. You don't... But it's like a speed course because you're doing it so, so you know, it's, it's in a month. How is, how is that? Yeah, how I guess it's just like you kind of just exploring what you want to do because you don't have to do it in the same place so my first one i did was at it was a house museum and it was a house museum uh, and it was like the history of where my school was my school was in pinyan new york bro that shit was a wild place up there um but it was like the history you know the museum was like the history of it i worked there i did like a i illustrated a coloring book while i was there like for kids mm. um Illustrating the history, whatever. And then my second one was uh, I worked with Habitat for Humanity and like helped wow. build the houses and stuff. So I helped to build like two houses. And the reason I did that was because, um, quick, <laughs> quick sit, brother. We got to need yeah. one, right? Cheers. What the Cheers. whistle, quick, you know what I'm saying? I did that because, uh, uh, you know, my first house growing up uh, was Habitat for Humanity to help us build our house. That was my way of kind of like wow, it's like circ yeah, circle, yeah, full circle, yeah. Mm -hmm. My last two internships I did them at Def Jam, and I was there for six months though. I was there from over June all the way to December. By the time uh, December came, you know, and it's time for me to graduate, and I was like, yo, you know, it's my last day. Like, what's up? And it was like, last day. I thought you worked here. I'm like, no, nah, I was an intern this whole time. <laughs> yeah. So like, <laughs> so intern this whole time. You know what it was though, because we had interns there that would come in like, like I was only 
responsible to come in like two, three times a week, but I was there every day. So you was there seeing everybody every day. Yeah, every single day. day. And there was other interns too. They just didn't get the job. But like, they want to come. They want to go home early. They was like, "Oh, I don't really have nothing to do. Is it cool if I go home early?" And that, I mean, that and, and thinking from outside, I'm not getting paid for this. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Am I, I, you know, so it's like I'm it's a certain this drive like, you gotta have that you to be able to be there every bro, day and do that. I'm at Def Jam. Uh, That's all you I'm need. 22 at, at, at this time. It's popping too. Def Jam's on the yeah, ride. Like, they're like going bro, crazy. Like I'm yeah. at DMX. I'm at like uh, DMC. Oh, I'm at like Lloyd. Uh, they used to be under Murder Inc. Oh, I'm yeah. at Jeezy. Like, this was all in the first week. I'm like, why you don't want to be in here? Mm. Like, y'all bugging. Right. You rubbing like, shoulders with greatness. Anything that was possible. <laughs> <laughs>